Hello everyone and my dear subscribers. During my past streams, a lot of viewers had a variety of questions about the cards. Questions included, what are these cards? What do I do with them? Do I just register them? Which cards are good? How do I awaken them? Do I need to buy them from them reshop? And so on and so on. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything. Well, not everything, but just the necessary core information about them. So let's begin. First, what are these cards? You will be able to see what these cards do when you open up the card catalog and put your mouse over the set effect details. Let's look at the Trixion card set as an example. I did 12 awakening on the cards to demonstrate, okay? Don't waste your card experience points on them unless you really want to use them for some reason. It says all elemental related damage reduction by 5% for 2 set and 5% for 4 set, another elemental damage reduction 5% for 6 set. And then for the 12 awakening, you can do extra damage with your elemental attack. And then for 30 awakening set, you can do additional 10% elemental damage. So this means when you have 30 of the cards awakened, you have 15% damage reduction from all of the enemy's elemental attacks and your elemental skill damage boost of 14%. What this means, exactly as it says, you take 15% damage reduction from enemy's elemental attacks, not all attacks. Elemental meaning earth, lightning, water, fire, dark, light. And you get 14% damage increase on your skills with elemental perks such as earth, lightning, water, fire, dark, and light. In other words, it won't work on skills with no elemental properties. Now, let's look at my Deathblade Soul Absorber for instance. I'm going to test the damage with and without the Trixion set with my Soul Absorber's Dark Element. This is my Soul Absorber's damage with the Trixion set. And this is my Soul Absorber damage with the Cliff Set. The Cliff Set is just crit chance buff, so it won't do, it doesn't have anything to do with the damage itself. As you can see, just about 4% damage. Actually, I'm not sure if they're exactly 4%, but there is a slight damage increase and I'm going to assume that's 4%. Anyways, the car sets actually work. So in order for me to get to the uh, 12 set awakening effect, I actually level these up so I can get to 12 set. So a like and subscribe will be great. But you need 12 in total of these hexagon icons to be lit up, yellow. How do you awaken these? You go to the growth tab right click on the card you want to awaken feed it experience points and then you need a certain number of the same card to awaken the card if you have none then you just need an extra one if you have one awakening you will need two of the same cards registered if you have two then three of the same cards and it goes on like that until five awakenings so, in total, a fully 5 awakened card requires 16 of the same cards. With that said, I'm going to move on to the popular card sets or the ones you should be using depending on your class or progress. When you're completely new to the game, the Trixion set shouldn't be too hard to acquire, so use the Trixion set. Now for DPS classes, you want to be aiming for the Cliff set first while using the Trixion set. At 12 awakening of the Cliff set, you get 25% damage reduction from dark element attacks and then you get 7% crit rate boost. 7% crit rate is same as about 200 crit stats and although it may not seem like much, it actually does make a notable difference. Now, what do I mean by aim for this set? The reason why I said aim for this set is because you can actually get the Solus card by grinding, by doing Solus run. What is a Solus Run? You can google this by searching Solus Run Lost Ark and multiple results will show up. 
It's basically questing up to some point in Le East Lutera with your alts for the Solus card rewards. It's supposed to take about 4-5 to five hours and as you can see I only have 2 awakenings on the Solus card which means I didn't do it. But majority of people actually have done it at least once. Or you can earn cards uh, by RNG by doing the Abyssal Dungeons and from opening the card packs. You're supposed to have 4% chance of getting a Legendary from the Uncommon pack and 0.5% chance from the Any card pack. So it's up to you to buy them from the Marie shop or not. So I don't buy the Any card pack, I just buy the Uncommon card pack. But that's just me because I'm trying to get to the 30 Light Salvation card set. When you get the 12 Awakened Cliff set, you, are, you will be set for a while until you decide to go for the Light Salvation 18 set. The Light Salvation 18 set turns all of your skills to Light Element which means it turns all of the elements, if, if you have a Dark Element it turns it into Light, if you have no elements it still turns it into Light, and it does 10% more damage on the Dark Element bosses such as Valganus and the Dark Yoho, and then it gives you 7% damage boost. The 30 Light Salvation set is the end and card set for KR at the moment, but I do have a feeling that's going to change in a little bit, but for now, it's, it's the end card set. In the meantime, when it's finally time for you to go raid Argos, which will be released in about a month for the Western version, the, there are the card sets designed solely for Abyss raid, and that will be these two card set right here. You will get 5% damage reduction from Argos, which is an Abyssal Raid boss, with only 2 cards. 5% is not that big of a deal. Let's put it this way then. Your 45% potions turn into a 50% potion. Isn't the Trixion card set better? Well, the Trixion card set reduces the damage of the all elementals, but not all of Argos attacks are elemental. Just wait until you get hit with those high kicks. Just wait. And for the support classes, it's probably best to go for the Field Boss 2 card set. Uh, where is it? I'm blind. Here it is. And for the support classes, it's probably best to go for the Field Boss 2 card set or any other card set which gives you more health or vitality because the amount of heal you give to your allies scales from your own total health so more health you have more health you give and then there's a cliff 30 set for damage boost to the allies with light salvation set but that's far far later in the game with that out of the way here are some more tips for now I mean for now in terms of west situation I recommend you to open the card packs with your alts why? Because there's going to be hundreds of different types of cards and the unnecessary ones are going to be stored in your storage. Why put them in the storage? Because they take up your space. They take up your space in the storage as well as these slots in your card book which takes up blue crystals to unlock. Why not open them up while the blue crystal is still cheap? I mean, if you have tons of blue crystals to spend, then why not? But I would rather buy upgrade mats with the blue crystals for now, as gearing up would be your first priority. So for now, I recommend registering the ones which are necessary for your car set, and then the rest, store them in your alt storage, either by opening them up with your alt, or by transferring them through your roster storage. Why not just throw away the unnecessary cards? Because if you open up the second tab, these logs have an additional card set effects and there are so many different kinds. I wouldn't worry about them for now, but some of the cards which look unnecessary will come in handy way, 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 way far up in the future. Because they will give you permanent stats like extra strength, additional damage on demons, extra crit, more strength, oh I already said strength, more swiftness, additional damage on the insect type, so on and so on, so don't throw away your cards. Like I said earlier, store them in your alt storage. What else did I not explain? Oh, the tilted cards items are your experience points for awakening them, so you can just consume them immediately when acquired. I think that's about it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.